Thanks very much, Jeremy. And uh, thanks for the chance to present to you all today. I appreciate being here. Uh, so I'm here representing both uh, Innovation and Synsense. In innovation is a neuromorphic vision sensor company. Uh, Synsense is a neuromorphic processing and applications company. We merged earlier this year, some of you may be aware, uh, with Synsense acquiring innovation. And we're now combining our sensing and processing technologies to build low power um, full vision processing systems. Uh, both companies were founded in Zurich in Switzerland. We now have international offices uh, also in China. Um, today, I want to talk to you about the vision sensing and processing systems uh, from the two companies. Uh, so as Eric has, has um, sort of presaged, uh, all of our cameras are based around uh, event-based vision processing devices. Uh, so you see the, the differences here. Um, probably, given this audience, I probably don't really need to introduce it in, in great detail. Uh, but on the left, of course, is a conventional frame-based imager where um, on a regular clock, an entire frame worth of data is produced by the sensor. And on the right is the output of an equivalent scene under an event-based vision system uh, where only pixels encountering a change and increase or decrease in light intensity, as Eric was explaining, produce an event. And so the result is any of these pixels where nothing is changing, there's no data produced. Um, the, so therefore the vision stream is very sparse. You also don't need to wait for the next frame clock to occur. Uh, so you have very low latency, you have a very high um, effective frame rate. Uh, and, uh, and as Eric was mentioning, we also have high dynamic range um, across the image because each pixel operates independently. And so a scene that has uh, both bright and dark areas in the scene can still have equivalent sensitivity um, at both of those dark bright and dark areas. You don't need to have a global uh, shutter, for example, a global um, global exposure. Uh, we have local exposure per pixel. So we have we have much higher dynamic range uh, in, in complex illumination scenes. Um, these systems are, are known as dynamic vision sensors, of course. Uh, Innovation was the first commercial DVS dy dynamic vision sensor company. Uh, we have a range of sensors that we produce over a range of resolutions. Um, over the years, we've also produced hybrid vision sensors, which combine uh, intensity imaging and event imaging. We offer these as industrial uh, camera modules. We have a very flexible uh, software support platform um, that, that, that supports uh, application development, data extraction, uh, camera configuration, and um, uh, et cetera. Uh, we've distributed our cameras and our technologies to more than 800 customers globally, uh, including market leaders in their fields. And we've won uh, a number of, of design and innovation awards uh, over the years. Uh, combining the technology between Synsense and Innovation, we've produced a SPEC, which is the world's first uh, neuromorphic in-sensor vision processing system. So it combines uh, a 128 by 128 pixel DVS sensor. So you see the example of the, the DVS sensor um, image recording on the left here with uh, some custom cores for event-driven convolutional neural network processing. So this allows us to deploy a full vision application into the sensor uh, itself. Well, you see the little sensor module here is 10 by 10 millimeters. It's a mobile camera form factor. Here we can deploy a full vision application for real-time inference running in the sensor um, at only a few milliwatts. And then the entire camera package becomes a smart sensor. So instead of outputting a continuous vision stream, you're just outputting the sparse, very sparse result of inference, for example, uh, in this particular example, is a face, has a face been detected or not? Um, if this animation plays as well, then yeah, the idea is that um, you, you instead of having a, a, a high, a high um, bandwidth vision stream, you have an extremely sparse one bit um, discrete signal saying a face has been detected and the whole system becomes a, a face detection sensor. Um, so this is based on around convolutional neural networks. So anything you can train a convolutional neural network application to perform, for example, gesture detection, uh, face detection, behavior detection, anything you can do based on vision with a CNN, you can deploy into spec and having, having uh, real-time low power inference running at just a few milliwatts. Uh, we have a range of applications 
for our uh, vision sensors and uh, uh, using event-based vision uh, for low for low power, high speed sensing and processing. Um, the first one here is from one of our collaborators at Khalifa University. They've built a, a high speed uh, hole inspection system based around our DV Explorer camera. Uh, so the usual approach for hole inspection is to use a high resolution camera uh, to pause at each hole, obtain a high resolution image, analyze each image in turn. Um, and, and so th this, this of course takes some time. Uh, using the extremely high effective frame rate of a DVS camera, uh, you can see that we're able to scan the camera very rapidly past a number of, of uh, countersunk holes for inspection and where a, a conventional uh, frame-based imager would have extreme motion blur in this scenario, the DVS-based imager um, obtains uh, event uh, motion blur-free frames um, based, on, based on event detection. Uh, so this has a, a number of benefits. Of, of course, you have increased speed. You can scan past uh, a large number of holes very rapidly um, and perform the analysis with a, 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 at least 10 times faster uh, than with a conventional system. And of course, there's much less data to analyze. Uh, based on the event-based imaging, we have just a sparse event stream coming out. Um, we, we can pick out the holes very clearly. Uh, the rest of the image is not producing any data, and so there's much less data uh, to analyze for each hole. Uh, the next application is uh, one we've developed for live tracking of active infrared beacons. Uh, which we've deployed already at a reference customer. The concept here is that we have a, lot, a number of these um, active LED, infrared LED markers, each of which is flashing uh, an encoded ID. Um, and this is detected by the DVS camera um, by, by ignoring, uh, um, ignoring static data and just looking for uh, events which are encoded at the, at the um, flash rate of these active infrared beacons. Uh, so we can track a, a, a large number of active beacons um, over a large space in each camera. Uh, our first reference customer is uh, is an ice rink where we have a large number of skaters being trapped simultaneously. Uh, but this system can also be deployed for um, a large number of other active beacon tracking applications, for example, drone position tracking, um, robotic asset tracking in warehouses, uh, tracking, live tracking for spacecraft, docking, et cetera. Uh, and here, of course, we're, we're leveraging the uh, low power, low latency um, aspects of, of, of event-based imaging. I have an example here, an application uh, for in-sensor processing based on our not spec device, um, combining the DVS sensing plus the CNN-based uh, vision processing in-sensor. Uh, we've deployed a, a number of, of these uh, similar attention monitoring scenarios where the, the goal is to uh, detect the, the, uh, some aspect of the behavior of a person sitting in front of a camera. We deploy this, for example, for in-cabin automotive um, driver and passenger behavior tracking, where the, the attention of the driver is defined as the driver looking uh, directly at the windscreen. Distraction would be the driver looking away. Um, passenger behavior detection also for, what, for when the passenger is doing some something to distract the driver. Uh, these are all applications that require continuous monitoring um, with low latency. We would like to be able to detect inattention um, with, with essentially human real-time latency, meaning less than 100 milliseconds, and would like to be operating continuously at low power, of course, which for us means, means less than uh, 10 milliwatts, ideally much lower than this. Um, here you see the, uh, the system the system running for face detection, uh, we're able to um, deploy this entire system in the sensor as before. Uh, we obtain high accuracy, more than 95%, 99% accuracy for driver and passenger uh, behavior monitoring, um, operating at very low latencies of around 50 to 60 milliseconds and offering uh, operating also at, at low continuous power. Um, so the mean total power consumption of the sensor plus the, the vision processing stack running in sensor um, is is only a, a one a one to a few milliwatts uh, running continuously. So these these aren't power cycle numbers. These are really um, long term continuous power consumption. Uh, finally, we have a pro we've deployed a prototype system for eye tracking based on our DVS imaging um, and and spec based processing. 
This is based on real-time uh, tracking of the pupil location, providing very low latency gaze direction estimation. Uh, obviously, latency is very is very important here. We're deploying this for uh, AR, VR, wearable glasses applications. Um, so obviously, latency is important. So you need to do real-time eye tracking. Uh, low power is, of course, important. These are, are battery-powered wearable devices uh, for AR, VR systems. And physical size is important. So we, we have a, a very small, very compact sensor module here, um, which is, which is uh, ideal for the eye tracking uh, use case. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the chance to present to you. I'm very happy to, uh, to answer any questions you have about the technology.